I was there in the very beginning. I saw it all. I sat at the table, my little hands reaching for knives and forks, my venison hot and to perfection. My grandfather had killed it, skinned it, and now we were to partake of it. I remember pear blossoms and grapes, watermelon, the smell of sheep dip, fence lines, horses. I remember the shawi. I remember our dog Coyote, the picture of Musha hanging on the wall. I remember it as if it was yesterday. The pumping and grinding of my mind like a squeeze box slowly drifting a scent across the nose that reminds me of the past because I'm always in the future. I have roots, but no roots grow to me. I am a wanderer in the wind, the lost urban cowboy. No, I'm not. I'm the lost urban Indian, raised on a reservation. Who is he? Does he come from here? Hell yeah, I come from here. I can remember when your family moved in. But those things are petty, like quantums and all the social problems of the modern Indian, I stop like this, on days like this, and I think of pear blossoms swirling in the air, the smell of lemon meringue pie, the soft touch of my grandmother's hand as I lay there with a fever in my bed, the sound of peacocks drifting off into the night the murmur of a thousand frogs down by the creek. The smell of acorn mush in my hands. As my grandma explained, we still have to cook it. Yeah, I stop and think of those things from time to time. But I try to stop myself. Because it wakes me from my dream. <laughs>